Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to add products in Big Commerce, so let's jump into the video. Before we begin, if you haven't watched the first two parts of this series yet, you may watch these in Conversion Chef YouTube channel or just click the link on the description below. Alright, let's begin. On the left, you can find the different menus including the products. This is where you can manually add products as well as import products from a CSV file. So inside the products menu, the first we have here is the view. So this is simply a list of all the products you have on your store. To add a product, you can either click this add button or this add menu. So adding a product in Big Commerce is similar to adding a product in Amazon and Shopify. So you have here the product name or the basic information about the products that you would like to list on your store so for example we would like to get a product from aliexpress let's say that we would like to sell a mini sealer so let's just download the images so to download an image from aliexpress so we have here a chrome extension which is the ali save so i also have another video about ali save you may check that out on our channel so let's just download the photos. All right, and the title. But of course, the product name should be unique. So let's say portable mini plastic sealer. You also have here the SKUs. So if you provide SKUs for your products, just enter it here. However, with the asterisk is the most important ones. So the product name, the product type, is it physical or a digital product? Your price, so don't forget to put the price of your product and the pricing does not include the taxes. Below that is the categories and the categories, these are the different categories that you have created on your store. So since this is a home essential or a kitchen essential, then we just need to find the kitchen essentials here. So this one, just click that and automatically it will be listed on that category. Below that, of course, the description. So don't forget to apply SEO on your description so that your product or your store will rank in Google. Also, we have here the images and videos. You may drag and drop images. So what's good about this one is that in each of these images, you can put a description or an alt text or this is the text that will show if you hover the image. But for now, let's skip that. Okay, you may also include videos. Okay, the product identifiers like the SKUs or the product QPC. However, this is not required or this is an optional section. You also have here the pricing. So we have pricing on top. And there is also another pricing on this section. So as we have said earlier, this is just like... Um, this is just like adding a product in Amazon. As you have, as you can see, you have here the inventory, the variations. So if you want to track the inventory or the stacks, you may just click that. And the variations, if you have different colors, different sizes, or different materials, then just add a variant. So to add a variant, just add a variant options like color, the type, so on the type, this is how your variants would look like. So if you want it to be a swatch or as a radio buttons or a drop down. So you may also set a default variation. So afterwards, you can just save the variant. In the variants, you may set if this has a different pricing. Just edit the columns. Okay. 
So you also have here the storefront details or this is if you want to set this product as a featured product on your storefront. Or on your storefront, meaning on your homepage or on the homepage of your store. So what's good about Big Commerce is that you can also add a custom field or custom fields allow you to specify additional information that will appear on the products page. So those that are listed in here is the default one but you can also add another details. So if you want to show related products on your storefront then just click this one. You also have here the dimensions and weights which is an important one or a mandatory so however the mandatory detail is only the weight you also have here the shipping details if you have free shipping so if you have free shipping from your supplier or you provide free shipping then just click this one you also have here the purchase ability which helps you display the status of your product so it's either you can check this one if your product can be purchased in your online store or the product is coming soon but you want it to take pre-orders or this product cannot be purchased in your online store so you also have here the minimum and the maximum purchase quantity so the gift wrapping so select the gift wrapping option you want to apply to this product so if you have gift wrappings for the different occasions so another good thing about big commerce is that it provides a basic or on-page seo so you have here a page title your product url so that it would not be a very long url which may confuse your buyers you also have here meta description so just put different descriptions that may appear on google So this is a very important section because SEO helps your products or store rank in Google which can increase your conversion. You also have here your open graph sharing. So that's everything about adding a product in BigCommerce. So afterwards, just click save and let's see how it would look like in our store. So since we have put it on our storefront, let's check if it's already in the storefront. Okay, so this is the one. Now we have put it under the category of kitchen. So let's go to the kitchen essentials. So it's already in here. You also have here the quick view, but that depends on your theme. So this is how it would look like. The images, the price the title and the product description so that's it that's everything you should know about adding a product in big commerce so i hope that you have learned something from this video and i'll see you on the next one bye thank you for watching this video please don't forget to like and share this video and we are happy to hear from you on the comment section Visit our YouTube channel Conversion Chef for more videos about reviews of Shopify applications that can help you increase or boost your sales. You may also check the description below for the links of the applications and our mailing list. If you haven't subscribed yet, just hit that subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified with our new updates. I hope to see you on the next video. Bye!